All right, consider this. If the following statement is true, Pete brought donuts to class today, then is this statement, Pete did not bring donuts to class today, necessarily false? Okay, so think about that. Pete walks through the door, he's got a big grin on his face, he's got this huge box of donuts from Happy Donuts, and somebody shouts out, hey, Pete brought donuts to class today. And we look over at Pete, and sure enough, we see this big armful of pastries that Pete has, and we say, wow, cool, that's true, Pete did bring donuts to class today. And at that same moment, somebody in the back of the room shouts out, Pete didn't bring donuts to class today. We look over at Pete, we see that all those donuts, and we turn to this person in the back of the room and say, well, you just said it's false. You just said something untrue. You just said that Pete didn't bring donuts to class today, but that's a false statement because what's true is that Pete did bring donuts to class today, okay? So let's illustrate what's going on here by representing the simple statement, Pete brought donuts to class today with the letter P, and then let's see what the relationship is between P and its negation. What we just discovered is that when P is a true statement, indicated by this T here underneath P, and when it's true that Pete brought donuts to class today, it's false that he didn't. Okay, so anytime uh, when P is true, tilde P is false. And we can think of this line in our table here as representing a specific moment in time. Okay, it's the moment in time where reality is structured such that it's true that Pete brought donuts to class today. Okay, so if at any given moment a, a statement can be either true or false, but not both true and false, then if P is true here on this line at this moment in time, P's also got to be true there. That doesn't mean that P always has to be true or that tilde P also has to, uh, always has to be false. It just means that at a given moment, P is either true or it's false. For example, let's say that it's false that Pete brought donuts to class today. So Pete walks through the door, he's got his empty hands in his pockets and he's whistling along and somebody shouts out like, hey, Pete brought donuts to class today. And Pete looks and he's like, no, I didn't. I didn't bring any donuts to class today. That's false. When somebody else shouts out, oh, Pete didn't bring donuts to class today, are they saying something true? And the answer is yeah. So we can represent what's going on here by creating another line in our table and saying, well, when reality is structured uh, like it is on line two, Pete didn't bring donuts to class today. It's false that he did, but it's true that he didn't, okay? And if P is uh, false on line two here, it has to also be false on line two there. And now you can see in this table a representation of um, P and tilde P. They have the opposite truth values. When P is true, tilde P is false. When P is false, tilde P is true, okay? And what we're seeing here is the relation of negation. And the relation of negation holds for any statement, not just ones about Pete and donuts, but any statement is either true or it's false. And what we can see here in our table is that any time a given statement is true, its negation is false. And any time a statement is false, its negation is true, okay? So think about it this way. Right now, this statement, you're watching a logic lecture right now. True or false? And you're thinking to yourself, that's true. Right now, at this moment, this statement, and I mean you in this statement, you are watching a logic lecture. So this is true. Now, maybe later on, you get a life and you start to do something other than logic. And in that case, when reality is organized such that you're not watching a logic lecture, we're going to say that this statement is false. And this is going to be the case, um, this principle is going to hold for tilde L as well. Whenever L is true, tilde L is false. Whenever L is false, tilde L is true. Okay, so this is the relation of negation.